The truss in this project is a scissor truss, so we have a vaulted ceiling below and, and the uh, roof pitch above. So in this case, we're looking at a 612 upper pitch and a 412 vaulted ceiling. Under this, as we talked about, it'll, the air barrier will continue. And what our air barrier is, is half inch OSB that we'll install with the smooth side down for our tape to adhere to. We decided that we didn't want to go with a, a vaulted ceiling any higher than a 412 for fear of, of, of settling cellulose. This air barrier, in, interior, the interior air barrier, will be taped instead of sealed with a uh, joint and seam because it, it'll be out of the weather and we don't have to worry about sealing in rain or anything else. And then there will only be a few penetrations and those will also get sealed, but they'll get sealed with joint and seam. Once our air barrier is installed and when we're ready for insulation, the insulation up above the uh, ceiling here will be a, a loose fill cellulose. And we've, we've kept this pitch to a 412 because any steeper we would be worried about the cellulose sloughing. In the walls, the cellulose will be a dense pack so there's, there's a little bit of a difference there. So here we have an example of a penetration in our top plate air barrier. This uh, piece of PVC is, for, is actually a sleeve for future PV array. And you can see it's a fairly simple process. We've drilled a hole and inserted the PVC and then air sealed around it with the joint and seam. We did this before our vaulted ceiling air barrier was on just because of ease you know crawling around in here uh, it'd probably be better to do that before you had to crawl in the trusses